Today, in this video, we will talk about rate cuts. The movement of interest rate is always one of the most important things we need to know when trading in the market. Interest rate directly affects the movement of stock's price and the businesses. Therefore, I believe everyone who trades in the market must stay informed about current situations. In this video, we will share our insights on things that we can look at to determine when rate cuts might happen and what we should do if the US Fed decrease the interest rates. Hello everyone, welcome back to SDA Club, the club for stocks trading and analysis. This channel is dedicated to provide you with high quality tutorial, guides and insights that demystify the world of trading. But before we dive in, a quick disclaimer. The information in this video is for educational purpose only. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell. So, to determine when rate cuts might happen, it usually requires a lot of indicator and data from different source. However, as an ordinary investor, I think that we are lack of professional resources and sufficient time to dig out all the information requires. But don't you worry. My team and I came up with one framework that is extremely simple and easy for you to use. So you will have a rough idea when rate cuts might happen. And now, I will introduce my framework to you. If you think it is useful, give us a like and comment below. From the screen we can see, here is our triangle interest rate movement framework. In this framework, I'm trying to use the most important but simple data so that everyone here know what to look at even if you are not a professional or an economics, you will still able to understand it. When my team create this framework, we want everyone to understand and know what to look at so that when rate cut really happen, you are ready for it and start to make profit from your strategies and tradings. As per the framework, first thing to look at will be the economic data. So in the economic data, we will look into the two main data to figure the probabilities of rate cut will happen. The first economic data will be CPI, as known as Consumer Price Index, which is one of the most popular and useful measures of inflation and deflation. As we know that US increased their interest rate to tamp down the inflation to 2%, thus, the nearer the inflation is close to 2%, the higher the chance rate cut might happen. Look at the data in July, CPI year on year is at 3% which is very near to 2%. Apart from this, we will look at unemployment rate as our two main data for our framework. So the side effect to increase the interest rate will be increase the cost of borrowing which will slow down the economics. Thus looking at unemployment rate, we will know what the economic situations are right now. So let me teach you my way of looking at unemployment rate. If the unemployment rate go up for three consecutive months, that is a red flag. And now, unemployment rate has gone up for four consecutive months, which in my view is a signal for rate cut for next FOMC. Looking at the unemployment rate at 4.3%, it actually scared the market a lot. That's why you can see the market is going down right now. The unemployment rate has shown the signals of recessions. So from the economic data, we can expect rate cut might happen very soon, either on September or November. Again, we will look at the market sentiment. We can go to CME website to check out the market sentiment. According to CME, the market thinks that 97% Fed will decrease 0.5% interest rates on September. From this, we can know that the market is betting 100% of cutting rates on September. Besides that, let us see the market sentiment on November FOMC. Market is expected 68%, the rate will decrease to 425 to 4.5%. Therefore, I think that we can expect 2 to 3 times rate cut this year. Last, we will look at the dot plot. Looking at the dot plot, the median is at 5 to 5.25%, and we can see 8 members have suggested the rate at 4.75 to 5%, which is 2 rate cut this year. So in conclusion, based on my framework, the requirement of the economic data is ready for the Fed to decrease the interest rates. The CPI is close to 2% and unemployment rate is going up 3 months consecutive. Market is expected more rate cut this year. So I'm confident to say that this year, the US will at least decrease their interest rate to 2 times. Okay, now we know that rate cut might happen this year. So what should we buy right now? If you are one of our subscribers, you would know the answers. 
Eight months ago, we have introduced the bond ETF, which will be one of the best ETF to invest during rate cut environment, especially now. Do watch the video if you would like to know more detail. Next will be gold. Gold is one of the asset class that perform well during a rate cut. Six months ago, our video has also introduced gold and it has gone up more than 20% since our video. If you are interested for our part 2 on the topic of gold, do comment below and we will try to do one in the future. So last asset I think is worth buying during this uh, rate cut environment will be Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin has a huge potential due to the ETF for Bitcoin and Ethereum are both approved. More accessible for investors to trade cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency as a risky asset always perform well during a rate cut environment. Here will be the end of our video. Like and comment below to let us know what asset class you would like to know more in the future of our video. See you in our next video.